What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Pop Culture Corner. Tonight, we have a, a special guest. Um, behind the scenes, now everybody knows uh, Jiving with Jack. Um, well, Jack uh, joined the show a while back. Uh, and, uh, you know, just, uh, you, you know, he, he became his own person. And uh, he's now at the at the Poindexter Lounge. And, uh, you know, Enosh and I have decided to talk about it uh, in a healthy manner, like adults. Uh, so this should be fun. Um, thank you, Enosh, for, uh, you know, putting it together. Or, or at least attempting to put it together. But guys, before we get into that, make sure to smash that like button, share the show, subscribe, join, all that jazz. I'd rather get it started. Um, welcome, Mr. Enosh. Sorry, I'm mid cheese. <laughs> cheese. Yes, I was eating a cheese stick. Uh, What's up, guys? What's up, Ty? Uh, eh, nothing much. Um, so... I mean, of course, there's the elephant in the room, right? Um, you know, uh, there there was a show on my channel. Now it's on your channel. Now, I think the confusion people had is why. Sure. And, and I, you know, we both played a part in it. So, um, I mean, I have things to say. You have things to say. So, I mean... Um, my part of it is, is Jack, Jack grew into this person who I knew was eventually going to either, I thought he was going to start his own channel, to be honest. Sure. Um, and I think he has the potential to, I really do. Yeah, me too. I really do. Um, and you know, uh, apparently he had taken, uh, offers from the four nerds and, I you know I I don't know if, if that if that's public knowledge, but it, I just I don't know. Well, I mean uh, Dawson had put out you know a couple of months ago. I mean, D D actually the 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 whole the whole thing. I mean, even what I'm doing right now with with the Pantheon, you know that that I started started with me and Dawson. Really, I mean Dawson and I a few months ago, uh, we were talking and. <laughs> Love you too, man. Uh, Dawson and I were talking a few months ago because Dawson ha had a larger channel. I had a larger channel. Uh, and we were just sharing back and forth, you know, like some of the things that come with that and try to do some best, you know, best practices, kind of share, you know, with each other, you know, help each other grow and stuff. And out of that came, we were actually talking about doing like a monthly like sketch comedy show. Is, is the first thing we st we thought about doing was this monthly, but it was just, we had the great, we had a great idea, uh, but it was, it ended up being too much of an undertaking. Right. I mean, cause he's in, he's in like Virginia and I'm in Michigan. So that, you yeah. know, it's kind of hard to do, but we had, but like dream big. Right. And so like, dream we big like, and, and fall hard. Right. Like, I and mean, we didn't really fall. We just, we just were like, cause we did a few sketches and stuff and we could have done it, but it was just a lot of time. And so, uh, so out of that though, came, uh, he said, Hey, you want to do, um, a show together. And so him and I started doing the Sunday podcast over on his channel. And, uh, we did that for gosh, man, a couple months, two, three months, something like that. And, you know, and there was always this kind of talk of us, like, you know, trying to get like other people involved and, you know, I mean, like, I, I guess I've never looked at it like as a network. I hear people, you know, calling it a network, you know, and things like that. Like, it wasn't really that it was it was just, hey, how do we get we stream with all these people anyways? And I, I consider all these people friends, you know, I mean, I consider you a friend and other people. And it's like we we do shows all well, together. That, and we talk. That, and so like that was that was the idea was like between me, me and him. And then he decided well, that like, he just didn't want to do face or YouTube much anymore, you know? And so Dawson? our show, yeah, Dawson. And so like our show kind of went to the side because of that. Cause he was just like, he was working his priorities in life changed, um, you know? And so he didn't want to spend as much time kind of, you know, hitting the pavement, you know, every day doing shows and stuff. And, and listen, it is a grind, you know, man, like just trying to, yeah. trying to do shows and get I'm that out. Solo, you know? I'm solo now. 
yeah you know, I, like i i'm so for the most part i'm solo like honestly i i'm i'm editing a video or i was editing a video right before this and um you know doing the day-to-day -day on it uh by yourself is is a lot of work and um yeah you know yeah i've always done it by myself so i know yeah no same, i know exactly same. what it is man it's yeah, it's, it's grueling same. man i hate editing i hate i hate oh know, i love it i i love it i mean yeah. i love the end result i love the end result and i love creating but it's like the daunting task of of like when you start a the, project, it's the you know? time it's yes. the time it's yes. the time that you never get back yep. but once you once you finish and look back you're like Oh my God, this is amazing. Yeah. Oh yeah. I dude, there's been right. stuff that I, I've literally cried. Right. <laughs> when I was like, Oh my gosh, like, wow. Uh, yeah. but yeah, but you know, that was the thing, uh, was like, uh, Dawson yeah. and I, you know, we, we had talked about that and stuff and then he just kind of changed and, and didn't really want to do that. And Dawson had put out there like for a lot of different creators and stuff. Hey, if, if you want to do a show, he wanted to use his platform. Cause I told him, I, I just straight up told him, uh, and I don't think I'm, I'm speaking out of turn here by saying this, but I had told him, you know, cause he was just going to kind of like, I think walk away from it. And I just told him, I said, dude, don't do that. You've built up a community. You've, you've built up a following, you know, people put their trust in you. That's not something that's easy to just get back. And I've watched a lot of friends, you know, they get frustrated with something. They're like, I'm walking away from YouTube. I'm, I'm going away. And then, you know, a couple weeks later, you know, they kind of Aggie does it on a weekly basis. <laughs> I'm just saying there's there's just people, you know, who've done that, you know, and I told him, I said, man, I said, you got too much of a, of a good thing there and some good people that you really don't want to just walk away from that. And then, you know, decide, hey, I, I, you know, that wasn't a good idea. And so, you know, <laughs> I was I was happy for him because he got, he got together with the other four nerds, you know, and it was like, you know, they had already tried to start another channel uh, for their thing instead of, you know, taking it to each channel every, you know, week. And so they just combined it, you know, and, and I thought yeah. that was a good idea. And then he put it out to, you know, basically all of our friends, all of the content creators. Hey, if you want to do a show on our, on our channel, hit me up, you know, yeah. and that was, you know, and that was kind of all, but I was still, I was still determined to do my own thing, which, you know, like I said, it's, it's a little different than what Dawson is doing now. I'm, I had my own idea of, of going back to what me and my wife thought that the Poindexter Lounge was going to, would always be. And that is a place where we talk about all these different things. But the thing is, you know, Ty, is there are things that I'm not into, right? So I'm not a huge gamer, right? So I'm not a huge gamer either. So if I do a gaming show, like everybody's been like, oh my gosh, Enosh, you know, I wish that you would do a gaming show. I wish you would do a gaming show. Well, it's not going to be authentic. Cause, yeah, same. cause, yeah, cause I'm just not a gamer. Know the material. Yeah. I don't know the material and stuff. You're not and so, passionate about it. Exactly. And the same thing, for example, uh, we were joking last night about like Lord of the Rings. Right. So I was joking with somebody about Lord of the Rings. I was like, cause I'm not a big fan of Lord of the Rings. Oh, so I, I love it. And I that's fine. It. And I understand. I under. I absolutely do like hear and understand people who are part. Cause like everything says. Yeah. That yeah. You respect it. fan. Yeah. Everything says that I should love it. Cause I love fantasy. I love that. It's just those movies. Like I, I, I remember like reading, you know, parts of the books and stuff like that back in the day. And I love the story, but as far as like sitting down to watch it, it just always seems like really daunting. And I think it's because they've made them all so long and just added to them and everything. And so like, yeah. I've just, you know, it's just not been my thing. So if I did like a deep dive into Lord of the Rings, who knows? I might end up liking it. But the reality is, is mo more than likely I'm just going to kind of I'm not going to do the justice to it that people would want it. And I don't want to insult people. And I'm you know, that's not what I'm, I'm trying to do. So my idea was there are people who are into things that I'm not into or have perspectives that I don't have. Uh, and they're on my channel all the time. We do all these panel discussions. You do panel discussions. You know, you've come on and, and you know, and everything. And it's like, we do these talks. And it's like, okay, hey, you know, like people like my friend William, he doesn't have a channel, you know, uh, yeah. William, you know with, at the sci-fi center. A, William's a, a frequent around here. Oh, yeah, man. He's, you know, William's very knowledgeable. And so people have been telling him for a long time, start a channel, start a channel. I've been telling him to start a channel. And he's just like, ah, I don't really want to start a channel. So I was like, hey. I'm going to do this thing. You know, I'm thinking about bringing some people on just to do some different shows and stuff. Would you be interested? And he was like, absolutely. I'm in. And so I was like, cool. And then I was talking to Brian, you know, Brian master of none, because he loves two things, food and star Trek. And I love star Trek too, <laughs> but like he dude's got cosplay going on and he's got all that. And so, you know, I talked to him and he was like, Hey man, 
uh, I'd love to do a Star Trek show. And then we started talking. It was like, how can we incorporate food in that? And I was like, dude, let's talk about it. And so we just did. And, you know, and that came up, you know, and I've talked to a couple other people who want to do gaming shows. One of my kids wants to do a gaming show. I want to do a retro gaming show because I love like busting out my Nintendo and my Sega Genesis. And so eventually I'm going to do that, you know, um, but I didn't, you know, I never, it, w- it was never about going after anybody or like trying to find shows for, for the channel. I, it was literally just like out of conversations that we had. And I guess that brings us to, to Jack and, and, you know, what happened with that? I mean, I don't know if you want to go first, you want me to go for, tell, tell like how it was from my perspective or, you know, I'll, 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 sh- I'll shoot my perspective. Okay. Um, so my perspective was, uh, that I was in the dark. Listen, like I, I, I've had my difficulties in the past yeah. with with like micromanaging, um, but I've I got I got over that, right? I got over that, and I became a different person. Um, and and Jack had always had full control over his his content that he was putting on the channel. And, um, you know, he was always free to do as he pleases. Uh, Mm -hmm. and, and, and that means talk to other YouTubers about doing his own show somewhere else, starting his own channel. Everyone's always free to do that. Mm -hmm. Who am I to say, look at Austin. Austin's a, a great example. Uh, Austin's thriving um, in his own way and and uh, Caden and and you know all the all free to do as they please um, and the way I find out is a meeting I called a, to discuss the 2022 Jack drops it on me that he's leaving to go to the Poindexter lounge and, um, that, and, and, and maybe I'm misquoting. I don't know. Uh, I, for, what I gathered was you sought or, or, or the four nerds sought him out and then you at, he asked you advice. And then from there it led to you asking him if you wanted to do a show there. So again, you know, uh, of course I have a bias. And, 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 and what, when Jack told me that he was leaving, I expressed nothing but, 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 but good, good, like happiness for him. And he can, he'll be the first one to tell you that Mm -hmm. the camera that he uses, the microphone that he uses, I gave him those. And, and he said, I'll give them back. I said, no, it's a present of mine to you. Like if, and I get it. He wants to go to a bigger channel. Uh, like he's doubled his numbers uh, as far as viewership goes in the in the first two episodes. You know, you, you you've clearly included him in some sort of super chat um, deal. So if he didn't take the deal, if he didn't at least consider it, I would have been offended. Um, I don't own the rights to Jack, but what I had a problem was with how I felt it was all done behind my back when no one thought, Hey, Ty, like, Hey, this is going on. Want to talk about it? Mm -hmm. So I'm not mad. I'm not clearly, but I just don't. I, I just don't like that feeling of like, you know, second guessing. Um, Cause Jack took a week off before that. And then all of a sudden I start guessing or, 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 or thinking, Oh, is he holding meetings uh, this whole sure. week with, sure. with Enosh behind my back? Like again, and it's not behind my back because he's free to do as he pleases, but in a way, you know, we've had a working relationship. Yeah. You know. And and you're you're my friend. 
and I just felt, I just felt, and it's, it's only human to feel that way. I was happy for Jack, but in a way I was also, I don't know if you want to call it jealousy or not, maybe not jealousy. Cause I have my own things that I'm doing, but, um, I don't know. That's my, that's my side though. Well, Ty, the first thing, the first thing I'll say about that is look, man, I apologize to you if that's how you felt, because I hear you with that. And, um, I, I would never want you to feel that way. That was not the intention on my part. Absolutely. You know, I mean, we're, we're talking about Jack here, you know, and he's not here, you know? So it's like, it, it's, I feel, I feel like this is almost, um, like the, the, the custody, uh, discussion, <laughs> right? Like afterwards, like how, how are we going to split up Jack? You know, like yeah, what happened, yeah. you know, like whatever, but but Ty, honest, honestly, you know, and look, people, people run with stuff, right? So they knew that there was something up because he came over to my channel and there, there are people who ran with this, tried to get in the middle of it, tried to make this a thing between me and you tried to make this a thing, you know? Yeah. No, like, let's talk about that. Well, you know, I, and not to, we're not going to name names, but yeah. people tried to pit each other. Pit, pit us against each other yeah and i so, dude i never had a problem with you like that that's that's the crazy thing like i like you just said ty how did we meet we met because you you did a video right about me and i reached out to you and i was like hey man you know because i know that there was a time like you didn't care for me apparently and and like but you did this video and you were like hey you know you had this this differing opinion and and I reached out to you and that was, you know, that was last year sometime, you know, and I reached out to you and I was like, Hey man, I really appreciate it. We started talking and we've been cool, man. And I, and I, I dig you, man. And we've, you know, we've talked, um, you know, we've been on each other's channels. I've supported your channel. Like I I've supported what you're doing. I think, I think you're doing a great job, man. I think, I think that like, seriously, man, you, you have, you've made something here that is cool it's special. You're doing some really cool things. And I think that's awesome. My, my involvement in this is like, it's weird for me because I know there was like all this stuff swirling. Enosh stole Jack from Ty. Enosh went after Jack. Like, you know, and, and here's the thing, like, I'll just be flat out honest with you. Like, so, you know, cause like you mentioned it, like, okay. So, and I watched, I watched Jack's last show, last show with you guys right on the channel and it was like oh you know we got this better deal and i've talked to jack about this we've talked about this i think that that was kind of how it made it to sound like oh well you know she gave me this deal you know and um and i couldn't you know i could like a deal i couldn't refuse or something like that which i think is kind of a misnomer because i didn't i didn't like give him a deal it's the same thing that i told everybody who was coming over i just i look at it like this if people were going to come to my channel you know, and if, and if in, in the in the interest of of being open and transparent and honest and fair to tie, this is what I told everybody who came over to the channel. I see that there are people who who have done these network things or whatever. And it's like, hey, come come over here and do this thing. OK, and I'm, I'm not telling anybody else how to do their channels or, you know, if they want to do a network or whatever. I don't know how they how they structure those things. I've never talked with with Dawson about how he structures anything with anybody who comes to four nerds network if they do anything if they don't do anything whatever my thing is this i've always felt like this look i was i've been in bands my whole life and i know what it's like to go someplace and just get taken advantage of and you know you go play your heart out for four hours and they don't give you nothing right like i've been there man it's like they know the song you know it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll right oh, you yeah. you know you you get taken you get you know whatever so my thing is is that i told everybody who was interested i said look here's what we do here is our expenses with you know we all know that if, if somebody gives a super chat so much comes out for youtube right so much comes out for this whatever 30 percent for youtube 30 percent for apple yep so i just said look this is what we'll do we'll split that We'll figure out the cost and everything. And then whatever's left, you know, 
we'll split that. Obviously, you're on the channel, you know, you're you're reaching out to people, whatever, you know, we want to do that. And so I wanted to make it so that people who came over, I can't promise them the world. I can't pay them, you know, like I don't have money to pay people. I don't, have a, I don't even have a job right now. I'm literally working at a church, sitting my butt, going to work every day, and yeah, I ain't break, making no money. up a little bit. Oh, sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you, so, I'm going to work every day uh, at my at my grandma's old church and stuff. And are I'm you not paid to work there? No, no, I'm not working an outside job right now. I am literally surviving right now off of the little bit of money that my grandmother left me after she passed away in November. And what my wife makes and what the channel brings in. That is what that is literally what uh what I'm doing right now. So when I when I tell people that I appreciate everything that they do to support my channel, I mean it right now, especially right now. But I mean it just is what it is. And so because I got because it's taken it's taken everything just to get this church up and up and going, you know, and my grandma had a church for 40 years, but the place was falling apart. I was literally having to go, you know, every Sunday morning and light the furnace again. And we're building stuff. And, you know, the the bathrooms are an absolute mess and I'm trying to fix those and everything and then trying to get people to come. And so it, I'm not taking a salary. I'm not in a position to do all that stuff. So I'm definitely not in a position to pay anybody to be on my channel. But what I said was, hey, let's do a sharing thing. You come, if if you do a good show and people give super chats and they respond, that will help you, right? And that's all I could offer. Uh, <laughs> for me, though, I never, I, I never just asked Jack just to come. I just want to clear that up. I never asked Jack to just come to my channel. Jack did, as, as you just said, Jack reached out to me. Uh, Jack told me that he, uh, cause he wanted, uh, and again, I don't think I'm, Jack and I have talked and I don't think that, uh, he, um, uh, minds me saying it because what happened was, was that Jack, uh, texted me, messaged me via, uh, Twitter. And he said, Hey, Enosh, um, can you, do you got a minute? I, I need to ask you a couple of questions about some things. And honestly, you know, I, I didn't even know Jack that well. I had been on jiving with Jack a couple of times. Uh, the, the previous time I'd been on jiving with Jack, it turned into a heated discussion with a couple of people Matt who, Jarbo. Yeah. with people who, you know, just kind of, you know, wanted to make a big deal. And so it was what it was, but you know, I love Austin. Austin's on the channel regularly, new Jack through, you know, coming on the channel. Cause they had asked me to, you know, come on the show. So, but Jack messaged me and I said, yeah. So he, uh, he messaged me and explained <coughs> to me, he told me that he was looking to expand, right? He may start a channel. He, he said that the four nerds had talked to him, you know, that he would, that he, he told me that he was already looking to expand himself and that he was going to be exiting pop culture corner. I, I was never part of those conversations that, that like turned him that way or pushed him that way. I never went after him, Ty. I never called, I never messaged him and said, Hey, I'm putting this thing together. You want to come over here and be a part of my thing? never happened. He messaged me. He said, he even told me, he said, Hey, I went and talked to my priest about this. And I just wanted to get, I know you're a pastor. Can I get your opinion about this? And he told me that he was thinking about doing this. And I just asked him, you know, like why he was thinking about doing it. He just said, you know, he just wanted to expand his show. He was wanting to do something new. And that was it. Ty, I never even got into it with him about, you know, like you were saying, you know, you did some micromanaging or whatever, dude, I don't, that's none of my business. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I, I don't know how you run your channel. I don't, it's just not my, it's not my thing. You know what I mean? Like I had no, I had no personal stake in that whatsoever. And honestly, he just wanted to know what I thought about him, you know, possibly doing that. And what, I, and if I thought that, you know, that he might be able to, to do something different and new. And, and I said, Hey, you know, I said, man, I said, you know, pray about it. Think about it. It's a big step. You've obviously been over there, you know, at Pop Culture Corner for a while, um, you know, and I, and I just told him, I said, you know, I I thought I honestly thought that he'd probably start his own channel, you know, but I do know, too, that if you've been on a channel, it's probably harder to just go, well, I'm just going to start from scratch. 
right? Yeah, that's, that's what Austin did. Yeah, right. And so that's harder to do because you got to go out and you get, listen, I've started a couple extra channels, right? Of different things. And it's just because I got one channel that's got people there doesn't mean that my other channel is going to, um, thank you, uh, Jermaine. It doesn't mean that that other channel is just going to blow up and do, you know, whatever. And so, I mean, I, my, uh, I got a channel where, uh, cause I'm a musician and stuff. And I, I started doing, um, like, uh, relaxation yeah. kind of things, you know? And, um, cause that's what I listen to when I go to sleep, I put on some headphones and I listen to some, you know, some music and, you know, stuff. And so i I put some of those together, like 10 hour, you know, block things, you know, and I need to do some more, but, um, you know, and that, that channel's got like 24 subscribers, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it's not like, it's not like, and I've tried to promote it, you know, and stuff, but it's not for everybody. Right. And yeah. so, so that was it. And, uh, and so I told him, I said, well, Hey, I said, I know Dawson's got a cool thing going over there. You know, he's got a lot of subscribers, uh, you know, it probably open you up to maybe some more people, you know, that's not a dig at you. Listen, man, I, because I know what that's like. You, and dude, you're kicking it, man. For for the amount of subscribers you have to somebody come in here to watch Pop Culture Corner, they would never think like you're not you're not skimping on your quality, Ty. Yeah. You know what I mean? And sometimes it just takes that one big thing to just blow you up. You know what I mean? It's it's about algorithm, it's about yeah. exposure, you know, all those things, right? So he asked me about the four nerds. I said, look, Dawson's a good guy. I've known Dawson a long time. Four nerds guys are good guys. You know, I know that he's doing a thing. I don't know what all that entails, but Hey man, I'll pray for you. And you know, um, I don't know what else I can do, but I'll talk about it. So then I started watching the show more because honestly I hadn't watched the show that much. I'll be honest with you. I'd been on the show a couple of times, but I caught it a couple of times and that was it. And I started watching it. I saw, started seeing what he was doing and he yeah. messaged me a couple more times and, and we started talking about some stuff kind of laughing about some stuff joking about some stuff and everything and and um i honestly thought that he was you know that he was locked in going to dawson well then the more we started talking like him and i kind of just for lack of a better term we jived and uh and so i i asked him one day i said hey you know are you because it didn't sound like he was absolutely locked in with going to four nerds network and, you know, I wasn't trying to steal him from four nerds network either. I asked him, I said, so I said, have you, you know, have you committed to that? And he's like, well, no, not really. And we just kind of talked about that for a minute. And I said, well, you know, I'm putting this thing together. I got a couple of people already. I said, you know, I think you're, you know, I, I already know Austin. I love Austin. Austin was going to do his own show already, you know, and, uh, and actually, actually, by the time it's done, I think he's going to be doing two because uh, he's doing the the interview show and, and the uh, Sunday and, thing with you. Yeah, he's he's, he's going to do something with me because I'm no longer doing the thing with Dawson. And so, uh, so we started uh, just talking, and I said, you know, would you be interested? I said, you know, if you're if you're le if you are leaving, and I didn't think that he was leaving on bad terms with you or anything. I just so I said, mm -hmm. hey, if you know, I said if if you are going to do it. <laughs> would you would you be interested in in maybe bringing your show here like come in here and he was like seriously and i said yeah i said i don't see why not i mean if if you're leaving and and at that time ty i you know like i said i i wasn't assuming that nothing none of the conversations that i had had would lead me to assume that like you guys had a falling out or he was mad at you or you were mad at him honestly there was none of that i was just like Hey, if you're going and you're not going to start your own channel and I'm doing this thing anyways, I, and I got this idea. Would you, you know, you want to bring it here and Austin's already going to be here. Why not? Yeah. And so he was like, really? And I was like, yeah. And so we just started kind of throwing out like how that would work, you know, like how it would work. And so we talked and I said, Hey, you know, I said, if, if you get super chats, you know what? It, it helps my channel. Cause you're doing shows that I'm not doing right at times that mm -hmm. I'm not doing them. So it benefits me, but I just don't want it to just be about me, you know, and just benefit me. Cause if you, cause Ty, if you came to my channel, like what's the benefit to you? If you, you got a channel, if you just come to my channel and do a show, well, that just benefits me. Yeah. Right. You know, if somebody could say, well, it's exposure, but I hate that because I've been in a band, I've been in bands and stuff for all my life. And everybody's like, come do this show for free because it's exposure. Exposure, like, Yeah. Yeah. You know, and it's like, it, it's not, you know, I mean, it, you, exposure doesn't do anything. So I, like I said, I can't, 
I, I told him, I said, I can't make you any promises. I can't tell you you're going to make this much money because sometimes I don't know how much money I'm going to make. But I said, you know, um, a couple bucks, you know, and, and uh, you know, maybe we have some fun, grow the thing together and see where it goes. And he was like, yeah, cool. And then after a couple of days, he was like, yeah, I thought about it. I talked to my priest about it. And I think I want to do that. And so we're like, great. And so like this transpired over a couple of months. You know, it wasn't like we just threw it together. It wasn't like we just took a bunch of spaghetti noodles, threw it against the wall and said, hey, we're just, you know, we're just going. Yeah. And so honestly, you know, Ty, I, I apologize to you. Like in the mix of everything else that I'm going through right now, I apologize if if I, I apologize because I, I should have probably taken the time. I know I should have. I should have taken the time and just messaged you and said, hey, are you cool with this? But everything that I saw on the outside, I'm just being honest. With you. I figured we'd talk eventually, you know, but we just hadn't, you know, touched base. And so honestly, I, I, I should have done that and I didn't. And I apologize because I, I think that if I would have done that, it would have probably cleared up a lot of the anxiety about it probably and a lot of the, the miscommunication or misunderstanding of it. You know, and so I apologize because like my my thing was, like I said, I've been focusing on all this other stuff and then trying to do this. And so then before I knew, you know, we were announcing it, you know, yeah. and like we were promoting it and stuff. And I just didn't think about it, man. And I, I am really sorry about that because I, I did not mean to stress you out. And I did not mean to make you think possibly that I, you know, that like here's this guy who's my friend who's, you know, taking you know somebody from my show or whatever because that was honestly not it man and i'm not i, I wasn't head hunting i wasn't doing anything like that i wasn't trying to do that um i was literally just like hey this guy is gonna be you know doing something else let's have some fun you know because because honestly that's what the poindexter pantheon is all about I, i've had people i know try to sell networks don't work enosh and that's fine okay I'm not trying, we're not trying to change the world, dude. We're, you know, yeah. You know what I mean? We're not, we're not trying to change the face of, uh, of YouTube, you know, with, with anything. We're literally just a bunch of people just having, uh, a, a good time putting on some shows. I, if we never hit the algorithm, you know, cause uh, you know, look, uh, I've had a couple of people tell me, well, you don't understand the algorithm. I do understand the algorithm. I, yeah, I, 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 understand I, the I get algorithm. that. I, I, I get, I get that, you know, like if you have a channel that tries to hit on too many different things that the algorithm doesn't like it, you know, and so it, it won't, you know, necessarily, you know, thrust you in front of people or whatever. But my thing is, Ty, is it is I just want to put on the best show that I can for people. And if they find the show, they stay and they like it. That's all I want. And um and I want people to be able to see different kinds of things on my channel because I'm into different kinds of things. I would literally have to start like 20 different channels if I was going to, you know, like, like do that, you know, to try to hit that algorithm and do that thing. And so that's not what I'm about. I'm just I'm just doing what I'm doing. And so that was that's honestly just it. That was it. And I, and I, I think it's a shame that there's people who tried to um, make it a thing between you and me. And I'm very sorry for that because, because that's ridiculous. And listen, we're, I was telling you before we went on, man, we're real human beings, you know? And, uh, I was telling you before we went on, you know, I think people sometimes, sometimes forget. It's like, I'm a real guy. I have a wife and three boys and a dog. And mm -hmm. I was joking with you, like every time my dog kisses me all over the face and just shows me that unconditional love, I'm like, and I wish other people, like, I wish people on the internet did that. <laughs> Not to kiss me all over the face, but you know, at least just like treat me like a real person, you know. But they don't. Sometimes they treat us like cartoons. Hey, there's a guy. William, thank you for the twenty dollars super chat. You have no idea how much that means. Um, and and to to like William, really, I don't know how how special that that twenty is, uh, because so I don't know if. You know, a lot of people didn't know, but uh, a couple nights uh, or or whatever it was, like uh, losing track of time, uh, we had a fire in our uh, parking lot, in our driveway. Um, uh, a whole car <laughs> caught on fire and uh, did damage to the house. Um, 
and you know we were rushed out of the house it, the the gofundme uh is in the in the description below uh, a lot of people have been really like uh supportive uh, but you know being a homeowner uh insurance basically screwed me uh and and said that uh it's you know it's it's not covered so it's going to be like uh, 8 to 10,000 dollars out of my own po- out of my own pocket uh so you know the gofundme is there uh for anyone who can donate uh and and Enosh has been great about it uh sharing it so thank you for that uh but thank you william um but yeah we're all affected by things in life and 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 i get it right uh i was supposed to go on zod's show last night and uh i i couldn't because i just i i couldn't sleep i i kept I, you know i kept thinking about is my house going to catch on fire? Like where I'm sitting right now, 50 feet mm. away was the fire. I could have lost everything. Everything. Mm. And I have a deal with Showcase in the works. Uh, I, you know, I, I'm doing my own thing. Like, y- y- I'm not mad, Enosh. I I just want you to know that I, I I'm a I'm a talker, I'm a communicator. I I like I like, and that was the problem with with Justice. Uh, I I don't know if anyone remembers him, but that was the problem with Justice. And Jack will be the first one to tell you this. Justice was always, um, and ask for forgiveness not for permission kind of mm. kind of person and um you know he changed me it, and then you know a lot of things happened and my mother passed away mm. etc so on and so forth you know what i'm talking about like yeah. life just hits you all at once uh and yeah i i i, I grew a, a, a bit um i grew up i grew a bit uh anxious and and just yeah i don't know um but you know i'm glad that we got to talk it out and uh you know we got to 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 open things up uh, dude absolutely man when, when look when when i when i caught wind that that you may be upset you know, the first thing I did was try to reach out to you. And I know, you know, you probably didn't want to hear that at the time, you know, um, but uh, it, it means something to me because I don't like I don't like it when my friends think, you know, that I'm upset of it. And, and, and can I can I just say shame on the on the person or anyone who would try to try to try to assume that, you know, what's going on in people's lives and behind the scenes of just of youtube shows that you watch because you know what it's not cool and i'm sure you're watching right now lurking in in the wings because i know i know what they're doing because they 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 keep changing their their profile names and and you know whatever and acting like they don't know what we're talking about when you know when when i call them on it and and the thing is ty that causes they think that they're that they're helping right they think they're helping you know oh yeah you know i should do this boy boy that's you know that's horrible you know i did that or like vice versa like when people come to me like yeah it's horrible this person did this to you or whatever they think they're helping but really they're just stirring it and they're making it worse in our own hearts because they're they're stirring up that frustration in us and it's not cool and just shame on those people for doing that because because you didn't deserve that and, and, you know, and I want to clear up something too, because look, you, you did jiving with Joe, right? You did oh, jiving yeah. with, you yeah, know, yeah. you did jiving with Joe yeah. and, uh, you know, that's my friend. That's my friend, Joe, crazy Joe, yeah, you crazy know, Joe, baby. I mean, I've known Joe and for a long time and he's, and he's from Philadelphia. So it yeah. works so perfectly. Yeah. And so, you know, uh, you know, and the joke, the joke there was obviously like that day. 
I'll be honest with you. I didn't know what was, what was going on. Like, I was like, Oh boy, what, you know, what's, I'll be honest with you. I was just like, uh Oh, what's coming? You know? Cause like you, you did your whole thing. Like, Hey, I'm, I'm Ty, the creator of, you know, pop culture corner and the pop culture pantheon. And I'm like, Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Like, what, what is this going to be? Right. So I saw your Instagram post and then I saw your intro for the show and everything, you know, you're dropping that pantheon thing, you, hashtag Poindexter lounge in the, in the thing. So, you know, we see those things. And it was like, okay. And then I watched the show and it was like, okay, you know, it was the the joke, the tongue in cheek thing that, you know, Jack never existed, you know, and it was always, yeah. you know, yeah. you know, jiving with Joe. And I was like, okay, you know, and that was like a, to me, it was like a friendly troll, you know, it was what it was, right? Yeah. yeah. It was the answer to Jack leaving. Okay. And so we did the thing, you know, and so like, it was Jack's first show this week and i just came home and i'll be honest with you, i told him that i was good like i said we should you know you know do something funny you know kind of back you know about that you know not not malicious but just to be funny and i'm standing there and like so yes i did i did this video where i'm peeing in the bathroom and i'm just like and, it, and all these little things are going by because i was kind of teasing about the fact that you said you know you were the creator of this so i'm like all these little things that i'm the creator of you know and all this silliness and stuff but people thought uh, okay so here's a stupid thing i had people who didn't even think that i was like trying to rib you on it somebody thought that i was trying to rib matt jarbo and i wasn't <laughs> and h bart h barts is in the is in the chat the thing was was like it was honestly i'm standing there because I, I had to i knew i had to do it all in one take right because i was actually peeing yeah <laughs> one sound effect man that was that was real 100 percent me urine yes and so uh so the funny thing was was that you know like i was thinking about h bars because h bars comes into our Wait, you were uh, thinking about h i was thinking about h peeing? while i was peeing yes okay. uh but no i was thinking about him because because he'll come into the chat sometimes and like he'll he, he makes like all these alternate universe uh versions of everybody like for my name and matt's name and stuff and so it's like j instead of matt jarbo it's jat marbo and all these things and so like i i put best friend i think of like jat marbo and like you know like another variation of that and max rebo because Obviously, H. Bartz is uh, doing the Max Rebo thing. And somebody thought that I was going after Matt. Like, they didn't even catch the thing, like, with with this. They thought that okay. I was They thought that I was trying to call out Matt, and I wasn't at all. I literally said I was the best friend of Jat Marbo. Not, like, I wasn't calling it. And then I did get it, because you you know the, the plunger story, right? No. The Matt Jarbo plunger story? He no. shared it. He shared it a million times. And honestly, I didn't even think of it because i oh the plunger yeah 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 right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So like i i so okay so here's the funny thing i was doing that video so quick i, I literally edited it on my phone i used iMovie on my phone right and i just like threw that st stupid thing together and that's why it just was what it was just had a music thing and i just put some text on it and it was done i'm standing in the bathroom though while i'm doing it and so like i said something about hey we're gonna plunge forward or something like that somebody thought that i was that i was talking about the plunger for for anybody watching who doesn't know about that story matt has shared several times on my channel and others that one night he was doing a live stream he had to use the restroom he plunged he plugged his toilet he went to get the plunger and the plunger broke well he shared that once on on my stream and somebody named the plunger showed up and they even created a a twitter account and it's become a really funny thing well i wasn't even thinking about that honestly like i i I wasn't even when I said plunge for it, but because I had said the Jat Marbo thing, somebody took it that way. And like, I even had to text Matt about that and be like, dude, I wasn't trying to start nothing, dude. I, you know, it's all good. And so that was just where we were, you know, and that was honestly just, just a, an, like a, fr like even in that, I even say like answer, like in, when I'm talking about like all my accolades, I'm like Enosh fee answerer of, uh, of like, uh, uh, uh uncomfortable trolls or something like you know you know troll videos or something like that so it was all just a a funny rib back at what you know you guys had done but for some reason somebody made it into this thing of like oh enosh was so disgusting and 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 attacked ty and that was that wasn't yeah. it at all you know and so you know look it that, all that triggered me i because i immediately because we were talking at the time yeah like we were literally messaging at the time and i text i messaged you and i was like 
dude, I just got word of this video. I was like, I'm about to go watch it. <laughs> I sent I, it to you, yeah. And I was like, I hope, I really hope that this this isn't gonna go yeah. the wrong way. Yeah. Cause I don't want to start a war with you. Neither do I. <laughs> Absolutely not. I, I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for that. And 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 honestly, you know, I I like you as a person. I consider you a friend, and I, I I just wasn't ready for that. So when I saw what it was, I was like, oh, I was like, that was funny. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's the same person. You know, it's the same person who, like, they they won't let the idea of um. You know, because I, I do these nerd encouragement videos, you know, every once in a while on the yeah, channel. I watch them. Yeah. And so the thing is, you know, Ty, I've had so many people reach out to me and say, look, look, I, I don't think that those nerd encouragement videos are changing the world. Right. But I've had some people reach out to me and say, hey, um, you know what? I was going through something today. Oh, you didn't see the video. I'll send it to you, H Bards. Uh, but I was like, uh, you know, people have messaged me and said, you know, hey, I was going through something today and you just happened to, to touch on something that really helped me today, you know. And so that's why I was doing those videos. And, uh, you know, I'm I, I literally have a mount right on my um, rear view mirror, you know, that it's like I just I drive and I do that. I, I've How never safe been I've never been I've never been in an accident. I'm not. I am not messing with that. I am not doing that, but they've made it. This one person has made it out to be that I am the most dangerous driver apparently in the world. They didn't like it. I had, I had to take, I had to take my dog. Check this out. I had to take my little dog, my, my grandma's little dog, Rocky. I had to take him Thank with you, H. me. Thank you, H. Bartz, for the $2 super chat. You're awesome, you know man. I love you, man. Lounge Dexter point. I had to take my dog to the, uh, uh, to get me. a checkup. To get a checkup, I had to get, take my dog to the vet. And in the video, like I'm sitting there in my driveway and I showed my dog in there. And they and this person like literally uh, tweeted that Enosh is now endangering animals because I didn't have my dog in a restraint. People are people are insane. I'm like, what? Like, okay, whatever, you know, but the thing is, is like, look, there's people who've been all bent out of shape about that. Um, you know, and look, I'm just, I'm just doing my thing. Like I, 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 I very calmly just said, listen, you're not in the car with me. You obviously don't know what I see when I'm driving <laughs> the times that I have like, like messed with the screen a little bit or whatever is when I'm sitting at a red light or I'm stopped or whatever they, you know, that's it. And so it is what it is. And I just really don't care, you know, like, but again, it's the same person who messaged you and said that, like, basically I was trying to start, you know, something with doing this, you know, this little uh, video of me peeing. Okay. And so, you know, so it's the same person, same harassment, same, you know, the thing, you know, like they, they literally have a, they literally have a, a Twitter account that every, I think it's funny. Nobody follows them. They don't follow anybody. And every tweet that they have is about. Them. <laughs> so kind of in a funny way, it's 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 great because. Um, uh, <laughs> it's H Bart's. It's H Bart's. Yes, I it's all about family H Bart's. But I the thing is like people don't realize and like, you know, this goes out from me and Enosh to the viewer super chats um, like the ad revenue. It, it's it's barely worth anything. Oh yeah, it's, it's no. the super chats that really do do yeah, the help. Days of ad revenue are are long gone. They were long yeah. gone before I got involved. Yeah, yeah. So super chats are are, you know, if you, the way I always see it is donate what the, what you think the show is worth to you, right? Like, is it worth a dollar? Is it worth eight dollars? Ten dollars? Twenty dollars? A hundred dollars doesn't matter. Donate what what it's worth to you that day, um, and 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 you know the cost of running these shows isn't isn't cheap. Uh, like you need to be, you you need all the equipment. Like Enosh, like look at look at look what's behind him. Um, 
you know. Oh, I've gotten it for that too. You know, you don't have a job, but you're buying toys. You're, 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 you're milking people for their cash. <laughs> like, seriously? Yeah. Right. Seriously, right. Trust, trust me. If look, if I was, if I was looking to do something for cash, I, it would not be YouTube. You know, like yeah. there's, there's a lot more lucrative things to do in this world than YouTube. Trust me. Yeah. And, and I, and I love it too. I'm dude, I'm a 45 year old man. Okay. Um, if 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 anyone thinks that I'm trying to become some YouTube celebrity, I have fun on YouTube, man. YouTube is fun. It's me hanging out with friends. And that's what I try to do, man. It's like I, I try to bring along other people and just be like, hey, you know, like we're going to chat. We're going to have fun. We're going to talk about the stuff that we love. You know, but, you know, people take everything very, seriously, you know, and just is, so. Yes, I am hard work. I'm hard at work on Justice League Two, uh, currently. Oh, yeah. currently. Um, it is I inevitable. I allowed James Gunn to use um, a couple, League. a couple characters, uh, <laughs> just just a couple. Couple, yes. Absolutely. I, I couldn't. I couldn't allow him to use this. You know. Well, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. But, but I let him use this. How do you think? How do you feel about the attacks on Twitter that James Gunn's getting? I think it's I think it's silly and unfounded. I I really because do. I, my my video that I'm making right now calls it all out. Um, mm -hmm. and and like I have so many tweets that I've I've grabbed. Um, mm -hmm. just came here to let you know James Gunn shits on every piece of work Snyder oh, has geez. had ever produced. I have millions of tweets that are going into a video that I'm editing currently. Um, and, and, you know, it, it's, it's astounding. It's astounding how, how many people are attacking James Gunn for, for probably one of the best cameos. Yeah, whatever. Like Ray Fisher wasn't there. Yeah. Um, and we, and we understand why he yeah. doesn't want anything to do with the Hamadiverse. Exactly. Well, and the thing is, 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 is I've, I've said it, you know, like many times this, this week since the thing aired, because people are like, oh, well, they should have at least included him. Dude, you know, as well as I do, if they had, if they had done the, the shadow treatment that they did for Superman and Wonder Woman with Ray Fisher cyborg, with all the stuff behind the scenes that's gone on, dude, I don't even think Twitter could have handled it. Like all the servers would no. have just melted because of the hatred, the, and the vitriol. They would have been like, they blacked out a black character. Right, right. I mean, they were, already pissed, they were already pissed off as it was. So, you know, look, the, the here's the thing. You know, two years ago, when, when I, when I started, you know, really doing commentary about this and there was this whole thing about, you know, the Snyder cult, I didn't, th it wasn't there. It wasn't there, like not like this, anyways. Not like it is right now. There are just people, literally. Listen, if if you like me, enjoy the Snyderverse. There's nothing wrong with saying, "Hey, um, uh, you know, I'd like the Snyderverse to continue." You know, hashtag release the Snyder or restore the Snyderverse. There should be nothing wrong with that. Unfortunately, now I feel almost dirty sometimes because there's all these these idiots running around making it into a cult like atmosphere uh you know trying to attack people trying to make like this fake we're talking about fake wars man like tr you know we just talked about people trying to make you know fake stuff between you and me but i mean literally james gunn and and uh um zach snyder are friends like it's because of of James Gunn writing uh Dawn of the Dead that that Zach got into what he's doing so yeah. like they're yeah. friends like so this idea that like they're crapping all over him is ridiculous and then like the same thing like with David Ayer David Ayer and uh James Gunn they are they're really good friends and they've 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 gone back and forth supporting each other on Twitter and stuff and these people are making up narratives going oh well they're just uh, David Ayer's just being nice he really can't stand it because he's crapped all over his work and destroyed it and you know and uh, like really look there's enough tie that's actually gone on with Warner Brothers 
and you know some deceitful stuff and everything we don't have to start making crap up just to keep this narrative going yeah. and then like now they're doing gofundme programs trying to raise money to supposedly like pay off like youtube influencers so, so, and stuff yeah. like it, that's just Ger garbage man it's just Ger oh. Ger Geralt and mercury or uh whatever <sighs> are, have a gofundme to pay influencers to promote restore the Snyderverse. What influencers? Their, their Their're gonna raise two grand. Yeah, I was gonna say what influencer is gonna be yeah, inspired yeah. by two grand. That's what I was just gonna say. They'll have enough to pay one half of an influencer to promote and it'll be restore the they, they won't get the Snyderverse. <laughs> well, I was joking earlier on a stream. I said, you know what they need to do is they need to get like somebody like Mr. Beast, right? But Mr. Beast would give more money away in trying to restore the Snyderverse than any but than two grand try. I mean, Mr. Beast, you know, or what's or what's these other guys' names? There's like Mr. Beast, there's um uh yeah. who, who, who's the uh, is it Jake Paul or whatever? I don't know. Yeah, like Jake those Paul. guys wipe their butt with two grand. Right. Okay, so you ain't gonna get nobody like that. So who are you? Who do you think that you're gonna get? Like, and and if you're getting multiple ones, what are you gonna give them a couple hundred bucks a piece? Who are you? Who are you trying to buy? I don't get it. I yeah, really don't get I it. I don't. I don't get it either. I don't understand. I, yeah, but they they, you know, they, th those those people are are so beneath. Like they've ruined the Snyder fan base. Um, they've poisoned it. They poisoned the well, and um. You know, it sucks. It really does. It does. Because, it does. Because James Gunn tried to do, you know, tried to give us what he could. Um, ben, you know, Ben wasn't there because, you know, most likely Flash might be his last outing for now. Right? Yep. And, and Netflix owns Henry Cavill's face. They can't legally, like, they would have to sign contracts and all that stuff like more money yeah, comes out of the just, budget you're just talking you're just talking fact now dude and it's not fair that you that you would pull out something like that um in this in this heated emotional discussion <laughs> you're making too much sense ty uh oh you there's caden yeah you can't yeah. be making sense hey there's that white sense. guy oh yeah. my god so so so, 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 Kaden, so Kaden, i got so so in all in all transparency caden i've known you how long now like, for almost a year for almost a year i've never seen your face you haven't i've never seen your face caden i have no idea what you look like i have never uh asked you what your uh i, I don't follow you on instagram uh i don't think you do follow me on instagram do you let me see you might you might but i don't i don't I, see i don't use instagram that much so like uh, so like no, I, I, I okay well there you go yeah so like i i have i've had no idea so like honestly like I don't know, man. Like I, you know, <laughs> but it's just funny how like you you the, don't you don't have a, a a I I have no idea what ethnicity you are. Um, mm. you have you have a very um. He's an enigma. See, if I were to, if I were to describe just your your chill personality, your your chill way, your I've voice, seen, your your vocal structure, and everything, mm -hmm. it, I think I would have to say it's like it's like the mayonnaise of uh. Oh my god of personality <laughs> i'm bringing it back around yeah. i've been teasing i've been like teasing it was, like I don't a, even... it was like a chill and you fucking moron you are a fucking human piece of shit and a disgrace i just oh. call you mayonnaise that's all i'm just <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i love him yeah but no, no but I, you know yeah james, no. gunn, james gunn did his best and and yeah. and the in the aquaman barry joke i thought it was funny i thought it whatever, i mean if, like it's it, the thing is like it's like this contextual like thing throughout the series since episode three of this aquaman right. joke and right. and if you haven't watched the show and you just watch that one clip you'll be like oh what the heck and even like even like I showed this one in the clip, they're like, oh, clearly like I'm like they watched the the Suicide Squad movie, and they're like, oh, I understand that Peacemaker is an absurd guy who's saying an absurd joke. Yes. Of course, yeah. I'm not supposed to take it seriously. I'm like, yeah. thank you, thank you. That's exactly what it is. Exactly. It's an absurd rumor that you're not supposed to take seriously at all. But these people are like trying to complain about it because it's like, Walkman became a god when Zack Snyder 
did this thing oh, with him, boy. and and now he, James Gunn totally ruined it. I'm just like, oh, listen, my. listen, listen. I I have very very positive and and and, and, ex, and I get excited about Zack Snyder's vision, right? And Zack Snyder, what Zack Snyder did, but but this like hyperbole of like trying to like make this over the top stuff about like everything Zach has done and, and, and basically just, you know, uh, just be very, very weird about it. You know, I mean, like, look, Zach did an amazing job. I mean, he brought these characters to life and I'll be honest with you. It's the best versions of these characters that, uh, that I've ever seen. And I love it, but come on, let's not, I mean, I don't it's, understand. It's I don't understand. Like we're acting like there can never be anything ever again. And this idea of him ruining aqua of, of him ruining Aquaman. Listen, I get it. There were, there were years and years and years where, where Aquaman was the butt of jokes. Right. But, right. but Aquaman, let's be honest. He, it was deserving. And it was because of the way Aquaman was written. It was because of the way that Aquaman was presented. And, uh, and that was that, and that was that fault. Listen, now we have Jason Momoa, right? Thank right. you, Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder cast him. Zack Snyder did an excellent job establishing that character. But Jason Momoa is that. The fact that Jason Momoa is not worried about a stupid joke because Jason Momoa is very confident. And the fact that, you know what, it's not going to destroy his Aquaman because Jason right. Momoa is a great freaking aquaman and he has raised the bar along with Zack snyder giving him that opportunity he has raised the bar on aquaman and who he is a stupid joke about him having sex with fish right. that's unfounded and just a joke is not going to ruin that and i love <laughs> the fact that 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 jason momoa is confident of himself and he's not worried about it. And when they asked him about to do it and they asked him if he wanted to do it, he's like, heck yeah, let's do it. Right. It was supposed to be funny. And like you said, if you watch the entire series, you see that basically uh, Peacemaker is insecure in himself. He's trying to cut down the bigger superheroes because he wants to really be like those bigger superheroes, but he doesn't match exactly. up. And and so he's telling these jokes. He's telling he's saying that Superman has a poop fetish. Right. Or that Batman is the P word or, you know, whatever, you know, or that about Aquaman, because he's trying to make himself that, feel better. Compared does that look to like them. a man who 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 I feel sorry for the fish. I know. Yeah. Right. Does that look like a man <laughs> who who <laughs> who gives a shit about a, a right. joke? Right. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. It's just so stupid. He's and, destroyed, and so... guys, though. He's like, Aquaman 2 is going to oh, fail because they had him have a joke about him in this recent series. He's done for. Okay, can I ask a question, though, too? Like, these same people, though, right? So, like, what if Aquaman 2 fails? Like, these people want Aquaman 2 to fail as well, though, because it's, it's not it's Zack like... Snyder. So, which is it? I know. I'm confused. So, I'm really confused. I don't know whether because they oh, want it to fail anyways, because they want the entire DC universe to fail so that supposedly Warner Brothers can come like groveling back to Zach and beg also, him to take over the whole universe, which that's never going to happen. No, it's not. That's just never going to happen. Zach does not want to take over the entire DC universe and just run with it like that. He's never expressed that in any form. No. I don't want the man to do it because I want the man to be able to do other things like Rebel Moon. Yes. Right, you know, and also the other thing is like they're like, oh, we're never going to talk about DC too. ever again. We're not going to, we're not going to talk about DC. We're not going to trash him as DC. Look at No Way Home. Even doors that were closed or or seemingly closed and locked were opened. Anything is possible. Mm -hmm. Anything. So, dude, it just yeah. it just is what it is, and I, and I look. There was nothing wrong with that. With that, listen. What would I have loved? Would I have loved for the entire Justice League to be there and swoop down and Henry Cavill's there? Yeah, but you know what? I also understand too that you know what, um, it was it was literally how many seconds? Five at, at five. Least. And you think you're gonna get you're gonna get like four big names? Listen, you know, right. I I could understand even. Listen, I you could make the argument that maybe they should have just had the two of them. Right, just had Aquaman, just had the Flash, didn't necessarily. Know. But why? But why were they the speaking parts? Why were they the people that right. that were the big ones? Because I don't know. The Flash has a movie coming out, and Aquaman has a movie coming out. Yeah. Right, so you and feature also, them, you feature them, and exactly. uh, and the other two establishes the fact that oh, hey, 
Henry Cavill's Superman is still, still a thing, a focus, and a thing. And of course, and of course, I think, Gal Gadot's I think I think James gave us a hint at what the post Justice League will look like after Flash. At least part of it, you know. At yeah. Least the part, the Wait, but but all these people are like, With, oh, it's without... just it's it's just it's worse than Justice League. No, it's not. What? It's By not the way, the, and, I, and I say this in my video that I'm editing right now. If you do, if you if you dare relate Joss Whedon to James Gunn, you need serious oh. help. And like the craziest thing was is that like also when. You know, like you know, this is that by, or, and also probably tell you know this. My big tweet that like I had yesterday, people were like, "Oh, so like someone's commented, no, you're wrong. James Gunn and Josh are the same type of creatives, and they both are race. They hate pe- people of color and are racist." I'm like, oh, dear God. "Oh my God!" Like one of them, yes. One of them, yes. The other one, no. No. Like, no. James Gunn is not that. Yeah, at all. did he have some and perverted jokes off. from back in the day? Yes. Yeah. But he's nowhere near like no. Joss Whedon, who puts who physically puts women up against walls, threatens their careers, um, makes forces actors exactly. to lay on their uh counterparts um right. parts. Like they're nowhere near the same at all and to, no, to, to compare them is a disgusting disgrace and if you are comparing them seriously you need to get your head checked right and it's like and it it's just one of these things where it's just like i like i like james gunn and i like his like he's a great creative person and everything and i just hate and like what he's done so far is amazing, like with both Marvel and DC right now. And it's just that these people can't. And like, you know, someone's like, why can't, uh, you know, like James Gunn has mentioned this multiple times that Guardians 3 is his last Marvel movie for now, you know, his last yeah, Marvel project. Why do you now. think that is? Uh, I, I, because DC, he's coming to DC and he's going to be around for a while. He's he said that uh, yeah he said after Guardians three I'm gonna do another DC he's gonna do season two Peacemaker and he's gonna do another DC TV show. And Anchorman, we, Anchorman, I live in their brain rent free. Oh, and <laughs> like I think after today I, I'm gonna live in some of these other people's heads rent free too. Oh, apparently, man, you yeah. you dude, you sparked <laughs> it, bro. You sparked it. Oh my god! I, like again, like I said in the spaces, I was not expecting that at all. Literally, I was just tweeting a tweet and expecting Welcome nothing. To my more. world. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, wake up one day and you're like, oh, apparently I, I did a bunch of evil stuff that uh, right? yeah. I didn't realize I did. Okay. Um. All right, boys. I'm gonna wrap up. Um. Yeah, if that's okay with you guys. Yeah, that's cool, yeah. man. Yeah, I got I got to get to my wife, but yeah. Hey, to sum up, I like this guy. I got no problem with problems with this guy. Listen, I love him. Tyler, you're always welcome on the Point Extra Lounge. Um, yeah, you know, look, I, I hope the best for everybody. I hope the best for you. I know you got a bunch of cool things, dude. I think the showcase thing is awesome, dude. Like, you know, I've heard about the 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 deal that you got with showcase and what you're doing with that, man. I wish you the best with that. I think that's awesome. Uh, I've been talking to my Cinemark for uh, for quite a while about, you know, something similar, you know, and, uh, and I, you know, I think it's, it used to be a showcase when it first opened the, the one right around the corner from my house. So like, I'm very aware of show, showcase and national mm-hmm. amusement stuff, dude. I think that's cool, dude, man. And I think, I think that you got a great channel. I think that you got a lot of, they're already, uh, they're already allowing me to use the, the that, dude. That's awesome, man. Yeah. That's fantastic. That's fantastic, man. So get it, man, go get it, man. And, and, you know, and, and, uh, and do your thing, you know, and, um, Hey, to, to, to every to everybody who thought this was gonna be some like crazy war and you know knockout drag out fight and we we're gonna like you know tear each other apart over Jack. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry that that this sorry. wasn't that show. Yep. Um <laughs> no, thank you, Enosh, for coming on, guys. Uh right. and thank you all for joining. Um truly it's been a pleasure. Um, I do have another video coming out. Uh, again, I do want to stress the fact uh, we do have the GoFundMe. 
um, for damages to the house. Um, if you want to support uh, by sharing, um, by uh, by sharing uh, or donating, uh, we could use all the help we can get. It's in the description below uh, and can be found on Twitter or just DM me. Um, you know, you guys are the best. You guys are the lifeblood of the pop culture corner and of YouTube in general. Like uh, pop culture you, uh, YouTube, you guys, the viewers, um, you know, there wouldn't be an us if there wasn't a you. So, um, you know, thank you for, for your continued support. And uh, in, until next time, uh, you know, we do it for you. And uh, we, we do it for the culture. <laughs>